Okay guys, so this will be um, the second episode of this tutorial entitled Clear Day. And I'm going to add some small um, mountains here with um, with uh, some trees and forests. And also I'm going to add, I think I'm going to, to just sketch the lake here or small body of water. I'm going to recap guys if you haven't watched the, the first episode. So I did the... Uh, the mountains and the clouds so if if you want to paint it so just follow, follow the link maybe in the description box okay so i'm going to start now and i'm gonna use again the um number seven flat brush and the the all this guys the blue color guys okay and with a little red and yellow wait and we'll do a little white guys to make it lighter okay guys it's a little um it's um the colors like um grayish um grayish blue okay so just punching technique guys to make this part darker This will be a forest guys behind the, the small mountain in front of us. So we just have to create we just have to use the punching technique or tapping. Yeah, just to make it slow softly guys, like what I'm doing. This will be some fine pine trees. You can actually use a fan brush guys if you have a fan brush. Okay. So just follow what I'm doing. So I will be adding a small lake here. So I'm sketching guys what I'm gonna do. So it's assume guys that there are there is a waterfalls here in the front in the back of this mountain. This part. Okay. So this is another mountain. Okay. that's it now I'm going to focus on this part guys today in this episode so I'll be adding some um, this will be a small um, small what they call this um, mountain guys with some um, what they call this some grasses and some small trees okay I'm gonna add first the green color so I think I'm gonna mix for green, so yellow and blue of course and white okay. 
Okay, just have to spray the color green, guys. That's it. And I'm going to add some brown color. So I'm going to use the red and the yellow and white. More white, guys, to make it lighter. That's it. I'm gonna use uh, another brush, guys. I think I'm going to use smaller brush. And I'm gonna use this fan brush, guys. Um, number two fan brush. And I'm gonna add some, some more details. So I'm gonna use the white and pure yellow. This will make some grasses, guys. So just use the tapping technique or punching. So just do it slowly like this to create some textures on the leaves or the grass-like effect. Just do it slowly guys. That's it. So I'm gonna make it all detailed. And make it softly guys. Do not push it too hard. Okay. This is a fan brush number two guys. I don't want to use the bigger fan brush because it's huge and you can create a um, larger effect or larger textures okay. can actually create some uh, small fill, uh, smooth fields okay that's it and I'm gonna add some highlights on this uh, pine trees guys I'm gonna Here's again the green, so we're gonna use the blue and the yellow. And I'm gonna apply it here directly. I'm still using the pan brush, guys. So uh, the same technique, the topping. So I think it's much harder to use this pan brush. Actually, you can use a smaller brush, guys. Just use the tip of the pan brush. Just use the tip of the fan brush, guys. See. Yeah. Okay. Don't do, don't overdo it. Just leave some spaces between the between the between the leaves. Okay, just use the tip of your pan right here. So what? Here in the pan brush, guys. Yeah. Adding some more greens to the fields, okay? And I'm gonna add the highlights, so I'm gonna use the white, just add white guys with a little amount of yellow. And again use the tip of your fan brush. Here, the tip of your ed the edge of the fan brush guys. Okay. 
don't overdo it guys don't put anything in it I don't put too much okay Hey. Yeah, that's it. What else? So here, I'm gonna add some greens. yeah and I'm gonna add some dark color greens here guys so I'm gonna use the the, the blue the red and some yellow more yellow to make it more green Mix for under green and with a total amount of red. Okay, just do it this way, guys. Other yellow, guys. Okay, you can smudge using your fingers. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yes, and I'm gonna use a smaller brush, guys, to create some um, grass like effect. I think I'm gonna use the number one. I'm gonna use this number one uh, flat brush, guys, but you can also use a round brush. So it's a smaller tip. I can use the tip of it to make some smaller details. And I'm gonna use the yellow, guys, to create some highlights and white with a little amount of green. Yeah, I think it's too wet and I'm gonna need some smaller brush. Yeah, it's too wet guys. So I'll do it this way. This will be some tall tall grass guys. Just use the white and yellow and make the final brush case become flat like this like this one. And we can add some highlights. Okay. You can add some small highlights guys like this. Ok. 
Okay. Yeah. Some highlights. And again, guys, I'm gonna use again the fun brush to create more um, highlights on the leaves. So I'm gonna mix for another yellow green. So I'm gonna use the 16 color, guys, the green colors and white to make it lighter. So just tapping technique guys but you can you need to drag it a little to create um larger leaves larger grasses you need to drag it down a little like this one to create some larger leaves guys as i've said Then drag it down from top to bottom. Okay. Also here. Okay. And I'm gonna add white to make it lighter. Okay. I think I'm, I am contented with that. So next, I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna make it some. I'm gonna make this rock guys um, realistic. And I'm gonna use the. This flat brush guys, the number nine flat short flat brush. Yeah, but I'm gonna use first the flat brush, the bigger one, guys. This is number seven. Okay. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this violet color here, and add some red and blue. To add some dark color here on this rock, guys. I'm gonna need more yellow. Okay. I'm gonna mix it here with red and yellow and white. Okay, that's too much. I'm gonna add a little, a little black to make it gray. Yes. And yellow, guys. Okay. So I'll just paint it over guys, fill it with this color to make it like a grey rock.
Yeah. Now I'm gonna use the brush, guys. The number nine short hair, short um, what they call this short um handle brush. Okay, and I'm gonna add some highlights guys using this white. I'm gonna mix it with the existing brown color here with yellow and black. So I'm gonna mix some highlights here. Okay. Okay. And also here. You can use a punching technique guys. Like do it slowly like this like this. Okay. Actually, guys, this rock is a product of my imagination, and I don't know what will be the outcome. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna add some shadings. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna add first some yellowish color. Like this. And I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna add some dark guys. I'm gonna use the existing dark. A little violet color here. Okay, this will be some shadows, guys. Casted shadows from the rock. So here okay. so I just had some cracks on the rocks guys with the same color gray yeah that's it and I'm gonna add more highlights like the white here with a little amount of yellow with red okay just do it carefully guys and al analyze where you're gonna put the lights like what I'm doing here So, I think the light is coming from the top, um, top or left. So, I'm gonna add more highlights here.
Yeah, I forgot <laughs> that the light, that my light is coming from the left, top left. I almost forgot, guys. Sorry about that. So I'm adding lots of lights from the top. Okay. It's so easy you cannot paint the uh, this kind of scene. Okay. I'm gonna add white guys, pure white here. Also here and also here. I added some white mostly on the top of this rock. Yeah. So again, guess the light is coming from the top left. So here, this will be the, the sun, the position of the sun. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add a little bluish here on the on the dark part. So I'm gonna mix for blue. So I'm gonna use this blue and white, a little amount of white and black to make it blue is gray and white. Yeah, how about that? I think that's realistic. Okay. I'm going to retouch some parts guys like this one. I'm going to add some lights on the top. So I'm going to mix again for green. Just a little, guys. Just stop. So it it's around this. The time of this painting would be around two in the afternoon, guess. Because the light is coming from the top left. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna add more details here. I'm gonna add some lights here, some browns, and also here. Okay. Yeah. What else am I gonna I think I'm gonna add later a tree here guys. But I think that would be on my next episode. Yeah. So here. Yeah, okay, so I think guys this is enough for the episode 2, episode two of this um, painting tutorial entitled um, Clear Day. So next episode guys, I'm gonna start adding some details on this part here. I'm gonna add some trees and 
you know, trees, yeah, trees, and what else? Uh, the the barn, the small barn here, and some yeah, some more details. And I'm gonna put some a tree here. Maybe maybe in the next episode again, on the other episode, I guess. And uh, of course, this part will be a little lake or a river. Yeah, going through the the sea here. Okay, so once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Or if you if you wanna paint with this, follow everything I did in the video. And, but first, um, what's the first episode on how to paint this mountain? Okay, guys, thank you very much, and have a nice day.